So I have this series, negative 5 thirds plus 25 over 6 minus 125 over 9 plus, and it just keeps going on and on and on forever. So this right over here is an infinite sum or an infinite series. And what I want you to do right now is to pause this video and try to express this infinite series using sigma notation. So I'm assuming you've given a go at it. So let's just look at each term of this series and let's see if we can express it with kind of an ever increasing index. So the first thing that might jump out at you is this oscillating, this oscillating sign that's happening right over here. And whenever we see an oscillating sign, that's a pretty good idea that we could kind of view this as negative one to the nth, where n is our index. So for example, that right over there is negative one to the first power. That is, this right over here, this right over here is negative one to the second power. That right over there is negative one to the third power. So it looks like the sign is being, is being defined by raising negative one to the index. Now let's look at the other parts of, of these terms right over here. So we have five, then we have 25, then we have 125. So these, these are the powers of five. So this right over here is five to the first power. This right over here is five to the second power. This right over here is five to the third power. So this part, we're raising five to our index. Notice one, one, two, two, three, three. And then finally, let's look at this. We have three, six, and nine. So this literally, if our index here is one, this is three times one. If our index here is two, this is three times two. If our index here is three, this is three times three. So this is three times one. That is three times two. Let me write it this way, three times two. That right over there is three times three. So this sets us up pretty, pretty well to write this in sigma notation. So let's write it over here just so we can, we can compare. So let me. So let me give myself some real estate to work with. So we could write this as the sum, as, I'll do it in yellow, as the sum, so this is our sigma, as the sum. We can start our index, we can start our index n at one, from n equals one, and we're gonna keep going on and on forever, we just keep going on and on forever. And so it's negative one to the nth power, negative one to the nth power times five to the nth, five to the nth over, notice five to the nth over three n, over three n is going to be equal to this. And you can verify when n equals one, it's negative one to the nth power, sorry, negative one to the first power, which is negative one, times five to the first power, which is five, over three times one. And we can do that for each successive term. And so we're all, we're all done.